Hello everyone. Next up a card what we have is a Radio on RX 580. It's a 8GB version from a company his. So yeah, I already got everything disassembled. It has a back plate on the back um, and a cooling system up front. I already got everything disassembled so we can straighten forward measure everything up and confirm a problem. So yeah, let's prepare with test then. I'm plugging a hard drive. And uh, yeah, preparing multimeter in case we need it. I, let's say we need it. Mm -hmm. And a screen. Okay, we're good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it stuck uh, on the postcode 3, so it sees slot but does not detect a card. Crystal, actually, it's better have a hand on the power supply, so in case if it gets hot, turn it off. But yeah, crystal does not get a hot and uh, not even warm. So yeah, let's go first through our main power. So we have 12 volts, we have here 12 volts. We have here 12 volts. We have here um, 3 volts. We have here. Let's check our line stabilizer, uh, voltage stabilizer. On the in, we have 12 volts. On the out, 5 volts. We have. Okay. Mm. Alright, yeah, let's go through the chip. So, on the GPU, we have nothing. On the memory, we have nothing. PCI Express, we have nothing. And, uh, yeah, this is a memory controller. It also goes straight to our GPU. And there, uh, we have nothing. So, we have main powers, but we don't have... Um, non powers to a GPU. Uh, yeah, let's this uh, let's just measure resistance. Go straight and forward for GPU. Uh, GPU is uh, 0 0.6 and I know what tools we have zero straight. As as well actually my battery is a little bit discharged on my multimeter so it's lying a little bit us but I'd say it's showing about the uh, ohm and <clears throat> by the way for those chips I had other RX 580s, uh, 390s, uh, 570s, yeah or 5, 470s, 480s for those GPUs they're uh, above from 0 0.5 to 1 ohm it's totally normal there's a lot of transistors in a parallel that's why it's uh, those chips they have a low resistance uh, but yeah we have 0 0.7 let's keep measuring up and if anything we will we'll be back but how I said for this resistance is a normal uh, for memory and here we have a straight short and for PCI Express we have a straight short um, for a power manager how I said which goes uh, for a power manager for a chip and then go this power straight goes to a chip to a GPU we have 30 ohms which is normal um, so yeah we won't go through 12 volts 5 volts because we have those powers so yeah on those two phases we have a short and um, next our step what we're gonna do is uh, we won't put a lot current over here and uh, <coughs> because we gotta be careful kind of with the chip uh, but at least something to see probably it will help us to find a problem um, yeah I'm making ready I'm actually gonna show it yeah I'm making ready my power supply I'm gonna put a volt and about two amperes. Mm. 
I don't care. Uh, let's take into a pairs. Crystal not getting hot. That's actually a good sign. And let's go over powers. And uh, capacitors. It's actually kind of strange. Yeah, nothing gets hit up, by the way, but it takes two pairs. Let's check on the back. Same thing, nothing gets hit up. Okay, let's put one and a half volt. And I mean, it doesn't matter because I'd say it's gonna take two amperes anyway. Yeah, it's taking two amperes. And let's see. Still nothing, huh? Yeah, nothing gets hit up. That's kind of good thing and kind of bad thing, so. I don't really know for sure where the problem but we are hoping our GPU is good yeah GPU is not getting hot and our power and non memory banks getting hot okay then uh, what we are gonna do is uh, I actually have a stencil for this chip the best way to check right now is basically take a chip out and see if we have any changes, um, and I have a stencil for a ball, but we go, not go, a bit easier way is um, taking this coil out and seeing which way is a short. Let it cool down a little bit. Okay, now moment of truth. So how I said, yeah, we're gonna check where we have a short toward the crystal or toward the power circuit. Hopefully we have it toward the power circuit, not toward the crystal. And toward a uh, power circuit. Okay, wait. Uh, yeah. And toward the crystal, we have a short. Fortunately, we have a short. Yeah, so then that's what I said. Yeah, 90%. Um, that's what I was given a case because those one and a five volt is not just a power to a memory. Those one and a five volt that go straight to a chip as well. It shares to a chip as well. If from my experience, when memory gets shorted out, GPU g g gets uh, to a heaven as well. It gets out as well. There, I've never seen a graphic card when memory goes in a short, then chip itself is good never seen this case and uh, and uh, eventually I decided to take a GPU out I mean I'm still fighting till the end because uh, the guy who sent me this car he sent me from Japan and I don't really take uh, uh, international shipping so it's just something I didn't know when he sent me out uh, but yeah don't please send me international shippings but Eventually, yes, how I said, I'm still fighting until the end, but yeah, GPU 
unfortunately. I mean, okay, let's see. I took a GPU out and let's see what it does. Okay, power to a memory, uh, power to a GPU. We have power to a memory and uh, that's actually normal power if you don't have a GPU. We have power to uh, PCI. We have yep, we have power to uh, memory controller is in a full. So yeah, and uh, yeah, how we can see, uh, yeah, GPU unfortunately is now. I mean, <laughs> you know for sure is totally out because yeah, when I pull the chip out, I also didn't find any corrosions or. Uh, any liquid underneath it, so GPU is out, needs to be replaced. Don't think really that customer will agree uh, because GPUs are kind of still expensive for those cards, and I don't really have on my own GPU. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I would give a, in those cases, I usually give a good prices, but I don't have on my own. So that's at least we have a diagnostic, uh, full diagnostic on there. Uh, RX 580.